welcome everyone my name is okon samuel victor welcome to my youtube channel victor the analyst so today we're going to break out how to add dynamic image into power bi so let's say for example now you want to create a uh, a slicer for cars you understand so once you slice different cars the ch you have an image that change according to the slicers that you have you understand so we want to create that effect that feel you understand so that's what we are going to be doing in this tutorial like if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel i'm encouraging you to subscribe and to like this video so that it's going to help others to um, see this video all right let's jump into the business of today thank you very much all right so let's get started so this is what we're trying to do we want to create a dynamic image then let's look at this now this is ford let me double click here backspace and hit enter all right so we have different cars here we have dodge we have ford we have volkswagen and the likes so what we're going to do is we want to let's look at you can see that the cars has the cars are, the cars change so i can come here and say i want to just see chevrolet chev roulette okay uh, it's enter so I'm, i've sliced by chevrolet now look at several the cars has changed so you understand so this is what this is the effect we want to do on our dashboard so once we slice and the 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 image to change to as well so stick around and let's see how we are going to accomplish this all right all right so based on what we are trying to achieve, like I said, we are trying to achieve a scenario whereby when we to slice on the company, we are going to have a different cars. If we if slice Chevrolet, we have a Chevrolet car. If we have Dodge, we have a, a Dodge car. So we have different we have requirements that we need to have. First thing, we need to have the link of the car. And second, we need to have a table. That is, we need to have the column that has the um, company. And at the same time, we need to um, um, go do a connection between the company in the fact table and the image table. So this is what I mean by that. This is how it looks like. I uh, would show us how I got this, you understand? So you see this Chevrolet. The Chevrolet needs to be the same way you spell your Chevrolet in your fact table. And the Dodge to the same thing. All this one has to be the same thing. So this link was gotten online. I okay let me show you how I got this link then we'll move on to the next so let's say for example we want to get a link for Chevrolet car so I'll go online and go and search for Chevrolet car so I can come here right click here and um, once I right click here I can just go to um, save image as So I can just rename this to Chevrolet Chevrolet Car Test. So let me just use that. I'll hit enter. So that has been saved into my downloads. You understand? So I'll go to a website where I can remove the background because now if I come to my downloads, let me go to my downloads so you can see this is a car so when i click on it so when i click on it you can see that there is a white background in the background of this car so we need to go to a site website whereby we can remove that background so i will drop the link to this uh, website it's called remove.bg you understand so i'll click on this upload image so so i'll select this uh, image that was downloaded then i'll click on open so afterwards we wait for a while for this for the website to actually remove the background color so just come here they have the premium version and they have the free version so we are going for the free version then i'll click on this so it's actually been downloaded so once it's been downloaded you can't just take this image to power bi like that you need to get go and save it online and get the link so in my own case i would look at it now it's been it has been downloaded yeah this is it but i can't bring this into power bi so i'll go to a website called this is the website name post img you understand so so you can i can come here and just say i want to upload another image 
so i'll send this post i am image this post images org you understand it's a website where you can save your images and you can get the links so once i just say i want to save my images online just choose the image then i'll select this image that was that i removed the background then i'll click on open so from there wait for it it has been uploaded so you have different links here you need to pick the one that has this direct link so this direct link that that's what you will pick you just click here to copy so once you do that you go to your table so you must have created a table like this the cars names you understand this is for share so you spell it the same way it's been spelled in the other table the fact table you understand because you need to do a connection between the fact table and this your image table so you can see i can just come here and put this one um do control v but this is my this is how i got all these links so you follow the same process on the way i did with that share so you can follow the same process for all this so yeah, let's get to the second uh, step now i go back to my power bi all right so the next thing that we want to do is we want to bring in that table that image table into our power bi so i will go to the guest data drop down and i'll go to excel workbook so i'll need to locate that that should be under this is it here and i'll click on open so wait for it wait for it and um, all right now let's look at this now i will check this and this is going to preview the table you can see the table is not well arranged we still have column one column two let's do let's go and transform and make this data well arranged i'll go to transform data so this is going to take me to power query where i'll need to promote the first row to the header so all right now in my power query this is my power query and um so i'm going to promote the first row as header so i'll go to this option here and i'll click on use first row as header so this cards there will become our header so we are done just do close and apply so the data type is correct close and apply all right so the next thing that we need to do is we need to go to our data model and do the connection understand go to the data model then do our connection so all right so now we've actually finally imported our data you can see it here this is the um this is called sheet one here so we can just go to the data model to do the, the connection so it's going to be a two-way featuring understand it's going to be like a two-way featuring because now if we're going to reconnect from the fact table to the dimensional table and on the default if they have like one way featuring so let me just close this and uh, close this so we have this is the sheet one so i'll drag that and bring that here so we have the connection will be company to car so we're going to be company then i'll drag to car or it can be the other way in a car then drag and put it onto a company because the car is just this our data here is saved as company here but here we save it as car you understand so i'm going to do the connection so now this is a one-way featuring but for our image to start stream well we need to make it two-way featuring so i'll right click on this and i'll click on the property so on the property we can just click on this drop down now we have single and i'll select both so i want it to be selecting in both ways and i'll click on ok so you can see two is going to be like a two-way featuring you understand so i'll go back to my report view so on my report view now so the next thing that we are going to do is we start bringing us our visualizations so i'll click on this visualization pan i'll click on this visual so now we want to start um, showing in our image but before then 
there are these visuals that we need to use for that it is called simple image so i'll click on this but before then you need to sign in in your power bi desktop and i'll click on these three dots and i'll click on get more visuals so i'll go to the search bar here i'll look for simple this is a simple image then i'll click on it all right in the simple image then you just click on this add so once you click on add so automatically you see pop out down here this is it here so i would click on ok so i'll click on the simple image so when i click on the simple image just bring that because we want to have it inside this circle we want to have the image inside the circle so one more thing that we need to do let's go to the table view So under the table view, we go to this sheet one. Now we're going to select this image URL because as the um, Power BI is not seen it as an image link. So you click on this three dots, then you can see data category is uncategorized. Click on the drop down, then say this is image URL. So it's going to treat this column as an image URL. Do you understand? It has changed now. So now let's go back to our dashboard so the next thing we are going to do is we would come here in this our sheet one which is the image table i'll click on the image url and drag it to the image url so you can see it has pop out so let me just drag this down inside the circle and then um, adjust this inside this space all right so um let me drag this down and uh, drag this down okay now the next thing that we need to do let's format this so i'll go to my format your visual go to the general then what i'll do is in the effect i want to remove my background color so there you go so i can adjust this down a little bit okay okay good so i click outside here so now the next thing is we want to start filtering now let's see how this um this is going to be changing so if I, let's see for dodge so i'll come into my filter click inside then write d o d g e dodge and uh, it's enter so let's see you can see now the cars have changed so i come back again and um, backspace and say i want to check for chevrolet it ends up first so we want to check for chevrolet chevrolet so it enter so you can see how the cars are changing dynamically so that's how you can um, create a dashboard that has a dynamic picture all right if you actually enjoyed this video and it's very educative and very impactful i would encourage you to subscribe to my youtube channel but before we go let's see if we can for those of us that don't have um, a, an email to sign in let's see if we can use a table to visualize this so let me select this and i click on table so you can see you can use table two as well but you need to just find a way of format formatting it if you don't have access to login you understand so let me go back to this my simple image so that's it so we've come to the end of this um, tutorial i hope that you find this very incisive and educative so if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel i'll encourage you to do so subscribe and like this video to so make other people see and, and watch this video and again you can actually share it too as well 
I drop um uh, what's it called videos on this my YouTube channel weekly and I work at least two times in a week or so, you understand? So alright, thank you very much and I'll see you next time.